Today I'm going to tell you about a lion who didn't like to roar, he wanted to sing like the birds. So make yourselves comfortable and let's go through the story. In the vast jungle, where the sun shone brightly and the tall trees rustled in the wind, lived a young lion named Zor. His father, Makoa, was the king of the jungle, famous for his powerful roar that echoed throughout the savannah. As the king's son, everyone expected Zor to also have an imposing roar that would make him the future leader. However, Zor had a secret, he didn't like to roar. One day, while walking through the jungle, Zor heard a sound that made him stop. It was the song of birds, soft and melodic, floating through the trees. Fascinated, Zor tried to imitate it. First, he let out a soft growl, but then, unintentionally, he began to sing. How wonderful it was! His voice flowed like the wind through the leaves. Zor realized that what he really liked was not roaring like a lion, but singing like the birds. Excited by his new discovery, Zor ran to his father. Dad, I think I've found what I like to do, he said with a big smile. I want to be a singing lion. Makoa frowned. Singing. Zor, lions are known for their roar. It's our symbol of strength. A king must roar loudly to protect the jungle. Singing is not what is expected of a lion king. Zor felt discouraged but he couldn't deny what he had discovered. He liked singing and felt that it was his true calling. So he decided to seek advice from Mandira the wise jungle elephant. Mandira, I want to sing instead of roar, but my father says that a king must roar loudly, Zor explained, as they walked through the jungle. Mandira, with her trunk held high, responded with a smile. Zor, being a king doesn't mean always following the same rules. A true leader finds his own way. If singing is what makes you happy, maybe that's your true strength. Motivated by Mandira's words, Zor began to practice his singing. He joined the choir of birds, who taught him to control his voice and use it to inspire others. Day after day, his voice became stronger and more beautiful. He didn't just sing, but he did it with his heart, spreading joy and hope to all the animals in the forest. The most important day of his life arrived. It was time for Zor to prove that he was ready to be the next king. All the animals in the jungle gathered to hear the roar of the future leader. Zor took a deep breath and looked at his father, who expected to hear a loud roar. But Zor didn't roar. Instead, he began to sing. His song spoke of the jungle, of the animals that inhabited it, of the wind in the river, of peace and unity. The animals fell silent, mesmerized by the melody. His voice echoed in every corner, filling the air with harmony. Even his father, Makoa, couldn't help but get emotional. When Zor finished, all the animals clapped and cheered. He had accomplished something incredible, his song had united the jungle in a way that had never been seen before. Makoa approached his son, tears in his eyes. Zor, Today you have shown me that there are many ways to be a leader. Being a king doesn't mean doing what everyone expects, but being true to yourself. I'm proud of you. From that day on, Zor became the king of the jungle. He didn't roar, but with his music he filled all the animals with peace and joy. And so, Zor taught the jungle that true strength is not always found in a roar, but in following one's own path. If you liked our story, we would appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified when we upload a new story. Also, please leave us a like before you leave, that helps us reach many more children so that they can also enjoy our stories. Thank you and have a nice day.